everybody. This time around, the question is, does prayer do anything? And it's a fair question, but if you're the kind of person that watches these videos, you probably already know my answer and you probably already have your own answer. I mean, we can look at all kinds of scientific studies that show the efficacy of having some kind of a concept of a higher power and having some kind of a way to connect with it, commune with it, talk, listen to it, whatever you want to call it, and let's be as generic as we can. You know that all kinds of studies have shown that that works, but even more than that, you have some moments in your own life when there just weren't any material options. It didn't seem like there was any way for the thing, whatever it was, the diagnosis, the, the, the bills being paid, the problem getting solved, whatever it was. It didn't seem like there was any material way for it to happen. And through positive inspiration or through just running out of options, you open yourself up to something bigger than yourself, something transcendent, something more than material. And as a result, you felt better, it worked better, answers came from unexpected directions, and so on and so forth. You know that. And that's kind of part of the point, because at the end of the day, we could turn the question around and say, does not praying do anything? In other words, having no connection with anything transcendent, anything bigger than proof, anything bigger than an equation or a formula or a material, things like love, truth, beauty, art, inspiration, the things that you cannot prove through physical means, but you know them just like you know that you're alive. How does life work for you when you shut yourself off from those things? It doesn't work very well. These are the things that make life meaningful, that make us better people, that make the world a better place, that help us grow and evolve past old ideas and into new things, into a world that works for everybody like we always talk about. So does not praying work? It doesn't. Does prayer do anything? Absolutely it does something. And here's the deal. Prayer works to the degree that you really give yourself to it, like love, truth, beauty, art, inspiration, anything intangible, prayer works on that level. So I encourage you to do some research and to think about the way that prayer works for you. I encourage you to make a little bit of time every day to just sit in the silence. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can talk to God just like you talk to a friend. That works. That's a good place to start. You can think about prayers that were meaningful to you when you were growing up, that's another good way to start. Or you can just find ways to just sit in the quiet and make room to listen. Dedicate some time and space to that and see what happens. A couple of ground rules though. I want to remind you that prayer is not a language. In other words, you don't have to spend a lot of time learning the right uh, words to say. You don't have to memorize anything. There are lots of books about prayer and some of them are great and some of them aren't. But one way or another, it's not about memorizing the words in the books. It's not like there's a password to God's treehouse or something like that. You don't have to learn the right words. Prayer does not speak English or Latin or any other language. Prayer speaks intention. So in other words, it's not about the words you say, oh God, I know that you're this and that and the other. It's about the way that you feel. Prayer doesn't speak English. Prayer speaks intention. How do you feel? How can you get to that place where you're open to the things that you know just like you know you're alive? That's part of it. Prayer doesn't speak English. Prayer speaks intention. And the other part of it, the other ground rule I want to give you right now, is that prayer is about being conscious. In other words, you can't pray accidentally. Nobody can pray for you just like nobody can grow for you or fall in love for you or be inspired for you. You've got to be conscious. You've got to be in it. So find ways to set aside some time where you are consciously opening yourself up to what's really true with a capital T instead of what's just factual. Take some time for it, and you know what? You'll answer the question all by yourself. So thanks for sending in these questions. Keep them coming, and you can do that by writing to me on my website, waypastok.com, by tweeting or sending an Instagram post with the hashtag AskDieter. I'll be watching. You know how it goes. Keep in touch. Let me know what you want to know. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And more than anything, please share these videos. It means a lot. Go check out my book, Meaning Fulfilled, on Amazon.com or find all kinds of ways to keep up with me by going to waypastok.com. You got this.